Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta and my guest this week, well, not only one of the most respected voices in the business of law and justice and the delivery of law and justice in India, but worldwide and all of, also, if I may say, undoubtedly my most famous neighbor, Fali Nariman. Hello. Welcome to Walk the Talk. Thank you. Thank you. We've we planned to do this many times and we kept on using thinking of the right moment. That's but because we are neighbors. <laughs> that's because we are neighbors who take each other for granted. But uh, this is as, go as good a moment as any to look back on yes. so many years. Oh, absolutely. Yes, correct. We've been here since uh, June 19, August 1975 and uh, we have never regretted it. And you've been, you've been in the business of law now for Oh, well, More than half a century. 59 years. 59 years. To be so, exact. So, yeah. so next year is here. <laughs> yes. Diamond <laughs> Jubilee. <laughs> Jubilee the, six, six the business. But you've seen a lot change. Ah, yes. Of course. I, I think that that's, I think that's perhaps the sin of old age. That you always look back and you say, ah, those days were much you know, better funny, than these days. You're not allowed to say old age. <laughs> I, was going to I ask am you, old. I am old. ask you many questions about how do you stay ageless like no, this. No, I am very... You are inspiration to all the rest of no, us no, for getting I, there. I am pretty ancient. I am pretty ancient. But, you know, uh, you know, you've seen so many turning points in the history of Indian judiciary. Uh, 75 to the end, end of the emergency being one and now being in a, another. Both sort of historic, but in different ways. In different ways. You see, uh, the emergency was an entirely different situation. Right. And uh, perhaps it was, in a sense, in retrospect, of course, since it lasted very, sh just for a year and a half. Or, didn't look like a short didn't, while then. It didn't look like a short while then, but it was a good thing for us. It was an inoculation, the in emergency. my opinion. Yeah, yes. it was an inoculation against tyrannical rule. And I don't think we'll ever, for the, at least for the next 50 years, ever face that same situation where we, we would have uh, rule without law. I mean, th that's, that's where the thing breaks down. Uh, even benevolent uh, rule without law, I think, is anathema to me, at least, right. to most people. And when you say inoculation, what you mean is that it sort of, sort of released the antibodies yes. in our constitutional and democratic system. I think we work best, you know, we lawyers, judges, even, even judges. Just imagine. Don't forget the media. And the media. <laughs> and the media. <laughs> but no, that is a post-emergency phenomenon. Right. I must tell you. Right. You see, it's the lawyers and judges who reacted admirably during the emergency. Right. Whereas in the normal course, there, were, there was much to be said against them. Because if, if the, those two, ju two judgments had gone against the right cause, yes. then... And just imagine. It in was the, over. Yes. Nine high courts struck down. Uh, uh, the emergency laws in each state, etc., and freed all the detainees. And it's only the Supreme Court that shut off the lamps of liberty. But that was itself a great clarion call, I think, for all of us. Tubar.com.